Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel and hopefully you can see a difference from my hairstyle. If you have been looking at a couple of my most recent clips, I really started to sort of have a little bit of a sort of a think about what I wanted to do something different. I wanted something different with my hairstyle and I've recently had it cut into a very different kind of way at the sides. So I used to have my hair to about here and then sort of shaved up to a point and all of this hair here was sort of long and sort of incorporated in the style. I like a lot of volume, that pompadour look, those sort of 1950s inspired looks. But I like a longer length of hair just so I can still do those 1910s, 1920s looks, those sort of slide side slick back looks which I really really like from that sort of really nice era which I have an absolute passion for but I was thinking uh, for some time actually recently um, of course coming out of the coronavirus pandemic I really wanted to do something quite different quite fresh quite modern um, and I wanted just to make myself feel a little bit more different a bit more sort of good about myself just because I'm having quite a lot of health problems recently um, lots of things sort of if it's gone wrong you can guarantee that it will um, one of those sort of ruts I suppose you could call in life at the moment and I'm really struggling kind of with the health problems and things going on at the moment. Um, lots of appointments, it, it really does wear you down so I really wanted something quite modern, quite youthful. With everything going on I feel very often sometimes I feel quite flat, quite sort of closed in um, with everything going on so I really wanted something different so I had a look you know the good old good old Google and um, at men's hairstyles and um, but I wanted to keep the pompadour style so what I was thinking of having it cut differently but then I thought to myself no because then I won't be able to do the slick back looks I like um, from that era I really really love uh, but then I thought to myself okay well what about colour so a lot of you if you have watched my channel at all before you know that recently I coloured my hair darker just because of my hair has been getting really quite a brassy colour really quite a warm tone um, now very often if that that happens pretty much each summer my hair warms up each summer and um, what I usually do is either get it cut get that the warmth cut out of my hair or I have it chipped into or just go much shorter but of course where we haven't been able to get to hairdressers and barbers so often um, and I really like having longer length hair at the moment just being able to do more with it, covering up my hearing aids being one of them I really wanted to try something uh, different so I had a look and I came across a pompadour style with a lot more sort of volume than what I've got today and um, it had lighter bits through the colour and I really really liked it and I thought to myself okay when I next go for my haircut at the sides I'll mention it to the person who does my hair and um, she thought it was a really cool idea and I really wanted to do that so this morning had my appointment at half past eight went there and what I wanted was very natural very masculine because I think the danger with highlights for men's hair that it can you can go so far that it can look a really feminine um, sort of feminine style and I didn't want something which really screamed like you'd been in a hairdresser's for hours and hours and hours sat having something done but one thing I would say is my goodness the amount of time it takes I mean you can see from my hair here that bearing in mind my hair was all one color and hopefully you can see it's it's literally I've had real nice sort of as you can see that real nice sort of swoop in a way I really like it because not just in a way what I'm trying to refer to here is the color I really really didn't think that and I said this that because my hair has quite a warm undertone to it I never thought in a million years that I'd be able to get such a nice cool sort of icy blonde color through my hair and I've got it from the front all the way to the back and I really really like it because what it what it's doing in this sort of style which I had um, done in the hairdressers was when I finish it off with a product now the swirls which you can create with your hand or the brush what have you the color which i've had put in so the the scattered sort of foils whatever you want to call it um really sort of highlights the style so as you can see i've got this nice lightness throughout my hair and the swoop sort of coming down with the volume and then the sort of lighter bits as well which hopefully you can see here and just sort of up through here i'm just going to show you a little bit more as hopefully you can see it's not screaming that i've had something majorly changed it's not too long it's just nice. I had a choice in the consultation if I wanted to go like a warm uh, tone or if I wanted like a real icy colour towards the version of being quite grey. And I thought, well, that would look really quite cool. So that's what I've gone for. And actually, I'm really quite surprised because some of the pieces of the hair are literally nearly white in places. And I never actually thought that the product would lift as well in my hair. So do you know what the experience, though, what I have to admit Wow, for anybody who has it done often, um, 
and I include women's hair here as well, the patience you have to have. I mean, I literally sat for about half an hour with, um, half an hour with, from the back to the front of my hair, not the sides, with some, with the uh, lady who usually cuts my hair, with, with foils and like a, a pointed uh, sort of instrument and sort of weaving in and out, literally putting foils all throughout my hair. That was about 25, 30 minutes. Then I had to sit for 30 minutes with it sort of processing. Um, it's quite warm today as well, and I had a, like a collar on, and I had an apron, of course, the mask I had on as well. I will attach a picture here so you can see. Um, there may well be two, actually, which I will get on here and you can see. Um, and from that, I was getting really, really hot, and I have to admit, I sat for 30 minutes with it. So bearing in mind, half past eight, I went in there. I sat to about nine having it put in my hair. I sat to about half past nine, and they kept coming back and forth checking. And that was quite uncomfortable. I'm having some health problems at the moment with a, a reoccurrent hernia and my leg having some problems with nerves and things. It's been quite a lot of discomfort. So I was sort of unsure whether or not I would be able to, to deal with it today. But I was up and down, sat down, stood up, moving my leg. And it was really quite difficult to actually get through. But I, I wanted to do it. I'm, I'm determined that my problems won't stop me. I'm not defined through health problems, I'm defined through my choices in life, who I am, my career, and everything sort of that nature, not what happens to me in health wise. And I feel that's really vitally important. So I was determined to get through that. And then I think about by about half past nine, so I'd been in I'd been there for an hour now, it still hadn't finished, so I had to sit for about another ten, I think another ten, fifteen minutes. So it was nearly forty, forty five minutes I had this on. Um because my hair bearing in mind was really, really dark. The colour which I'd recently coloured my hair, I say recently, probably about five weeks ago now, I really, really loved. Um, but it washed out very, very quickly and it, and it went back to my natural colour quite quickly. Um but I liked to try that. It was really, really nice, really sort of classical, smart, professional. But I wanted that lift. I wanted something a bit different. And I'm really, really pleased with the result. But timing wise, I think it, we finished sort of processing at about, goodness me. So I was there for half past eight. I was finishing putting on around nine, sat for half past nine, still had it on <laughs> at quarter to ten. Then I had it washed off. And literally, which was really quite impressed with, I had it washed off with several different products, sort of toning products and things. And then I had something left on my hair, like a toning sort of purple product I think I could see, because I couldn't obviously see it was all covered up and obviously happening behind me. And I kind of didn't want to see, because I kind of wanted it as a bit of a surprise for myself. So that took quite a long time. Then I was sat for about 10, 15 minutes of a product on my hair to neutralize any yellow tones, I was told. And then I had it washed through and then I had some conditioning things and left through on my hair. So I was quite surprised how many different sort of processes it was to getting my hair to this really nice silvery colour. Um, and it took a long time. And I think by about 20 past 10, I was sat quite embarrassing with this towel around my head, waiting, um, waiting for it to be finished off and styled and dried off for me. And then I finally got home just after 11 o'clock. So from half past eight to 11, this is the result. Absolutely love it. Really, really like this silvery looking. Do you know what it reminds me of straight away? Like that natural sort of graying process throughout my hair. And it looks really cool. And I love the way that, as you can see, I've got a nice swooping sort of style, which they've dried it into for me. And I've got some paste in throughout my hair. So like styling clay paste. And I've got some uh, just normal sort of, I believe like a salon range uh, hairspray. And it's it's not it's not sort of firm or anything, but it's just nice. And you can see these sort of light tones throughout my hair all the way through. So it's really nice. When you use the term highlighted, I don't think that sort of gives it enough credit. Um, it really makes my hair really quite, for me, it's sort of umped it up a, a, a huge level and it looks really, really cool. My worry was that it was going to look really feminine. That's something I said right from the start, which I didn't want it. I wanted something different. I wanted something fresh, new, but I wanted it to be masculine. And the reason being, I very often without being very judgmental, I think that Sometimes with having colour in your hair, um, 
sometimes it's quite easy to go and, and we see it all the time sometimes it's quite easy to go too far and i didn't want it to sort of stand out on me like that it was very unnatural and it wasn't sort of masculine because i do have very masculine styles with that home sort of slick back look now if i was to do this it would be brilliant because the the, high, the sort of highlighted color frames the style really really nice so it's still going to look really masculine so i'm really really pleased that that um that really shines through that it's still a really nice masculine style which i really really like um doesn't look over the top, doesn't look out there sort of crazy, really like it. Um, I found for care-wise, after I've been advised uh, to use uh, like a, a toning shampoo, I'm just looking at it now, because I did, I know you probably shouldn't buy products from uh, barbers or hairdressers and things because they're more expensive, but who I go to are just so incredible. I have such a good rapport with them. And um, I was recommended this particular product here, which is by Goldwell. Um, and this is for blondes and highlights. So anti-yellow shampoo, um, lumos luminosity for blonde hair. And this is for colour protection as well. And I'm told this is really very good and I'm told it will last me quite a long time this I was charged £12 for and altogether the total for this what I had done today was £45 here in the UK which I think is brilliant to be quite honest with you so my normal haircut cost £16 um, which I'm due in a week's time and that was £45 so okay in total it will be a little bit more steeper but I think worth it and as you can see these silvery sort of highlights throughout my hair just look really really cool make me feel really quite positive and just that lift in myself and I know it's only hair and a lot of people think what you're going on about just hair but I always find with me if my hair looks good and my hair looks smart it makes me feel a hell of a lot better and um, this product should be really good to try I'm told perhaps every couple of days once a week and I need to use a very small amount so when I use this I will be reviewing this so stand sort of by for that it's only the shampoo if I need the conditioner, if there is a conditioner, I don't actually know if there is a conditioner, I will probably purchase it and I will review that one as well. But for now, we will be using the shampoo. Very often as well, what I will say, when I've been to the hairdressers and the person who usually um, styles my hair, let's be honest, nobody styles your hair like you do personally. And um, what gets me is they, the person who does my hair really tries to replicate the style, which I've had to come home and I've had to sort of just put it back into sort of a slight bit of place but I haven't washed it or anything I haven't washed out any of those treatments or anything which I had in my hair after having it coloured um, with the with the bleaching product and things because I know I'm told I had a very high lift bleach put on my hair so I thought that it was going to really end up really dry um, but you know what my hair is as soft and as sleek as it was before so from that I am really really impressed so for anybody watching this what I would say if you're thinking about doing it at home don't because I think the professional skill and the cost you pay it really does pay off because of course getting that great color is one thing but having the quality of your hair afterwards is really good as well what's the point of having a really great color but it's absolutely annihilated your hair Nah, not great at all whether you're a man or a woman nobody wants hair which looks sort of damaged and dull and really really washed out i was surprised the amount of shine on these light pieces in my hair as well in Incredible. really really pleased with it and the whole experience the only thing I would say is the amount of time it takes <sighs> not sure I could do that all the time to be quite honest with you with my health problems and things in the background and with how my leg is at the moment I'm awaiting surgery and things going forward into September but wow it really did take a lot and for anybody who does that on a regular basis my hat comes off to you because the time it must take is <laughs> incredible I, I just couldn't I just think I have a lot of patience but um i think just being sat there there's only so much time you can you can spend looking at your phone and um yeah not the best look in the world when you've got all these foils in your hair and number one there's all women around you i imagine not many not many men on a regular basis get that done sort of with their hair but of course not being stereotypical of course men do have different colors and things done with their hair that's not not what i'm saying at all but it's just i think when you're sat there You've got all these people in the hairdressers, several women are around you, people tend to look and of course at the moment because you've got a mask on you can't see if someone's smiling at you or someone's sort of said something quietly so it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of a, a strange sort of territory and I know it is strange for everybody at the moment but overall today really really pleased with the look and I, I hope you agree after you're seeing this have a look back on perhaps some of my other previous clips some of my previous videos and things and you'll see just how dark my hair um, had got to and I really liked it but this change with the silvery pieces throughout my hair I absolutely love and I'm really really pleased with the outcome and I just think it looks really really cool I mean look at that on that side 
absolutely love it. And I know that sort of it kind of reminds me of that retro sort of wave in hair. Really, really like it, and I think it really suits me. Dare I say it myself? I'm not a very confident sort of person out there, so saying that goes against the grain for me. But I'm um, I'm really pleased with the results, and I just wanted to capture this on my channel. Um, I will be attaching some pictures, so hopefully you can see that. And you know what? Let's add the pictures again now. And going forward, hopefully it gives you the inspiration to try something out new as well. It doesn't have to be loud. It doesn't have to be really, really out there and quite vivid. I didn't want that at all. I wanted it. The three things I wanted it to be well conditioned afterwards. I didn't want my hair to be absolutely annihilated because I am taking Viviscal for making my hair thicker, for helping me have more healthy hair. So the last thing after nearly four months in is I wanted it to be ruined. And it's not. It's in really great condition. It's not dry at all. It's really, really nice and shiny. The next thing I wanted it to be is really masculine i didn't want to be walking out with a real sort of feminine sort of colored um sort of hairstyle i really really didn't want that at all for some people of course not a problem for me not at all it's not what i was looking for really really didn't want that at all and lastly i didn't want any warmth i didn't really want any warm tones or anything so they've used a product all throughout my hair to really calm it down as well because it was with the summer and things getting quite warm again even after i colored it myself quite brassy and with all the products in I just had a really really amazing amazing experience and my hair i believe is looking really really cool and i really really like it makes me actually feel quite youthful with everything going on it's really good because i look in the mirror and i and i really like what i see back just for a simple change of my hair okay so thanks very very much indeed for watching as i say i always include on my channel the ups and downs and the bumpy road of life that's what my channel is all about this is a really positive notion really really glad i went ahead for it i will be honest i was extremely apprehensive this morning getting ready for it um but really enjoyed it really really glad that i went ahead and done it um and yeah perhaps this is going to be the new thing to keep for my hair i have to admit had a whole bunch of compliments my family really really love it on me it looks really cool even my twin brother said that he would think about it so <laughs> that's really cool really good okay so on my last note Thanks very much for watching indeed. It means the world to me that you've watched this clip. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.